So it's like 6.03 on Thursday the 2nd. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Um, I'm going to call the select board meeting to order. Uh, first item is to approve minutes from last time, which was December the 19th. Uh, does anybody have any? Oh, first, can we have a motion so to? Uh, Second. Great. Uh, discussion. So did anybody have anything that they haven't communicated already nope. into the revisions? All right. All in favor of um, approving the minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next is set adjust agenda. Do we have any changes that anybody's? Uh, I don't think this is a change, but just so people know on item number one, it's not a special town meeting. It's just a special select board meeting. Yep. Just. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I don't really think it's a change to agenda, but it's kind of a just a correction. Mm -hmm. So I actually noticed that in time, but then I only replied to Casey, who had already was already out by the time I replied. Had I replied to all, it probably would have been changed, but whatever. Here we are. So we're not going to do a special town meeting in case anybody out there was panicking. Um, uh, communication from the audience, we're going to move past that. And uh, Doug's not even here tonight. Yeah. You chased Doug out. So road foreman, so um, Sean is out uh, for a few days. Uh, he did text or email or something and said um, that he would like to communicate that the Bridgman Hill Reservoir project is still on schedule. It's not online yet, but they've filled it. They're doing their testing and then their testing needs to come back and whatever. They're still on schedule to get that thing online in the next couple of weeks or whatever. The testing has been submitted. I know it's been that submitted and they're waiting for it to come. For it. We're just oh. waiting. We're waiting so for the results. Yeah, an invoice before we get results? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how's yeah. that work? Where is it the test? <laughs> <laughs> I pay right. it quick. I may help the results. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, so that was all. And then um, road foreman report it looks like is we're a little thin on the road foreman um, <laughs> and the and the police department report we're a little thin on that department as well um, we hope everyone's enjoying themselves but we have seen that the uh, road crew has been clearing the roads that has been pretty evident so I think we can say that's what they've been doing hitch so that people know oh, there right. was a can hitch you... in the works because the tool cat was down was that yesterday or the day before yesterday? I think it was yesterday because I saw the skid steer it was town, Tuesday so. though yeah, three, so there was a three. there was a period of time during the day that it was yeah. So I sidewalks. was wondering and Shot I got at. asked because there was a delay. But yeah. Tom communicated to the board, which is great that um, that's what that there was a breakdown. They brought it in for service. They got it. They have a, um, a, a loaner. loaner. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I, I saw Tom sanding the main street sidewalks like by hand With a shovel. yesterday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Um, and the lights are out on the bridge, so I'll just I'll just say because okay. I regularly have to hit the little reset, but this time the reset doesn't work anymore. So those the lights um, are out. Two or lights, the, those two yeah. lights that you had purchased. The LED lights. Okay. The yeah, whatever the rope lights. I think yes, the rope the ones. Lights. Okay. There we go. And the the whole kit and caboodle, the wreath, everything, nothing's working. So I don't know whether it got. It's not plugged in. Holidays are over. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. It is plugged in, um, but the little reset on that huh. outlet didn't work. So. Okay. Looks like that's duly noted over Be there. Be nice to check that out. Uh, all right. So those are those. The next thing is to set a date for a special select. Uh, sorry, item number one. Set a date for a special select board meeting because the it should prove the town warning later in January and that's because um, there's a there's only a certain window in which we can approve the warning uh, for Between various the 23rd and the first right that for, can be done any sooner due to various 23rd. statutes that's just the way and the regular meeting is the 16th so there'll have to be a special yeah well right because the second well, comes yeah, are the, this, just, right yeah, yeah. So. 23rd? No. Yeah, so is it? It's a Thursday. 23rd? Mm -hmm. is, that is that the one we're going to do? Is that what you're doing? Uh, it can be signed. 
it just can't be signed before the 23rd, so I think on the 23rd is fine. We have to, uh, it's just a short meeting, that's all we're doing, right? Yeah. So do we have to do it at night? Although, um, no. I might want to do it on Monday. Part of me sure. thinks, my only concern is Alberta isn't here. Her petitions go until the 21st. So is that giving her enough time right. to finish the warning if we do it on the 23rd? I'm just thinking Why don't we, do we, the 27th or something? we might just want to do the 27th. First we thing do in the, the morning. First in the morning. morning. Because we don't need... Correct. Involved. It would be very just Everybody's one item on the agenda. Everybody's in town. Here's the warning. We'll Monday morning. That way it'll be a Thursday. All right. I, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. My only problem with that is remembering it, but I did I did last time. So So is it like an eight thirty thing? I have something in St. J at eleven. So Yeah. Yeah, do you, what do you want to do? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. It's fine. Eight thirty? Yeah, I think yeah. that's good. Eight thirty to twenty seven. And we'll just get that posted right away and then yep. people have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you could set your little reminder in your phone. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I'll remember to do that. Oh, man. All right, great. So that's that. Uh, next is item two, select board to decide on a town report cover photo. This is the domain of Elizabeth Dow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said we have... Let's take a picture of ourselves. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> I think we should have a picture of Leaf. He's always the man behind the camera. <laughs> we don't need a motion or anything on that special no. meeting. Okay. But I thought Sherry's point that the intersection of 15 and, and Main Street is oh, coming under a lot of scrutiny. I wish we had a picture. Do we have a picture of the truck that, with the um, axle broken out of it? <laughs> There's one in the Gazette. Is there? Yeah, the Gazette had a good oh, there picture that. Both, of both. Had some so. pictures of oh, yeah. He might have some more pictures. Of that was kind of fun, but it's been done. <coughs> What's been done? A picture of the with the axle broken out of that truck that was stuck at the intersection. Stuck there at the intersection. Yeah. Well, there was um, a good picture of that intersection a couple of weeks ago in the Gazette that Doug apparently Doug took. Yeah. But it's a perfectly good picture. It's a nice little shot of downtown. It was a very nice picture. Oh, really? Main Street and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty. Yeah. I have it downstairs if you wanted to yeah. see it. Yeah. No, it does matter to me. Yeah. This time of year, that's kind of a nice. Um, yeah. Festive this year, it was and it's a new business. Downtown. You know, yeah. it shows the coffee shop and yeah, and the lights the and all right. It's kind of a good okay. picture. Somebody's gonna chase that down and figure it out. Look we'll to ask Doug's permission. Make it happen. I yeah, he took it. Show it nice little sell it to us. I think it's Doug's. No, it it's Doug's. Doug. It was a Doug's photo. We'll make Doug give it to us. Now. Yeah. <laughs> so moved. Somebody wanted to say that. Sorry. I make the so motion. We're just, we're just uh, directing does. these guys. Yes, to figure we'll it out. Um, reach out to Doug about using that. Hmm? Yeah, our office. Yeah, that's right. All right, so we're not going to do a formal motion on okay. that. We're just generally saying that's what we want in case you to figure it out. Or with attribution, I'm sure Doug would be happy to let you yeah. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And he deserves attribution. Next is. Um, Item number three, which is to go over the um, full budget we've got, uh, and um, Casey's, as requested, as the select board requested last time, pull out the fire department equipment, make a fire department specific capital equipment <coughs> page, which Casey's done. So she's pulled that out of the, some yeah. stuff that we had in the red capital equipment, pulled it out, and any fire related stuff that. into a new one and um so we have uh, bring oh wow down. i flipped right to it yeah that's amazing she doesn't mess around no but i i have had to open it right to the oh oh you know. neither do you <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, this, I, I'm just looking at this capital equipment, capital fire equipment. So what got pulled in here was the existing bond. Um, mm -hmm. the, okay. As there's a bond payment, and so, then hard to see. Okay, 
So I made a spreadsheet similar to the one that you've seen on our regular capital equipment. As you may recall, the first column on the capital equipment was fire rescue, it was the bond payment. I've removed it from this fund and for example, the 2021 amount was $35,000. So what I did was I actually took that amount away from here. So because it's being moved over to the fire capital and we'll still continue at about $5,000 increase per year. Coming over to fire capital, there's that bond right here. Mm -hmm. um, I also did an estimate on assuming that the bond we're going to do at town meeting gets approved. Um, I put in that bond payment as well. And then I worked with Tom to go over what the, the four vehicles are, when they might need replacement. And what I did was the bond payment plus 30,000 a year. And so this first year we'd start with, it would be 65,000, which is the bond payment plus $30,000 towards. And as you can look at the projected, um, he did have me do a 25 year replacement. Um, and most of these are used equipment prices. And so down at the bottom, it just shows the bond is done and that when we would replace everything and the estimated cost best, best guess on a used piece of equipment mm -hmm. because ladder truck brand new could be 800 to a million. So mm -hmm. we went with used. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is kind of what it looks like doing <clears throat> about, you know, the bond plus 30. So. Right. So what it does is it makes things a little, makes the budget feel a little heavier in the near term while we transition from like just bonding for things so we're not saving so there's a short there's a interim period here where we have a bond and or we're gonna have two and we're saving for future equipment correct so but during eventually that, we'll be able to transition by doing this eventually we transition to out of bonding into just saving mm-hmm but yeah, I, so it's a big hit. Like it adds 30, 30 grand to the budget, but it, I think it. It's really I'd rather do it this long way. Long term, it's worth it. Well, because you save the interest. I think we. I'm, yeah, I think we need to do it right now. It's being realistic. I also think generally it's a budget. There are some budget years where we look at just what our bear. Like this is what we have to fund and it looks like a big percentage increase and this year isn't one of those years mm -hmm. so it's it, I think it's well, a good that, year to get you know, it in if, here if in the future we have bad years where we don't need to necessarily fund the capital to fund that gives us an option but we're still moving in the right direction mm -hmm. exactly. where if we're not trying to put anything aside we're all never going to have we're so, always going to be bonding well, if we don't make a change. Which is if you pay attention to other municipalities close to us that are struggling with their capital funds for everything right now because they don't have it. They've never, they borrowed, they borrowed, borrowed. Yeah. I was bonded or borrowed. And now they're, you know, when you got to go spend $200,000 on a dump truck. <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah. So. Right. It's a hit. Yeah, we should be appreciative of the folks that started it years before us. That, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've nothing but steward, shepherded this process along. It was, it was in place, and we really haven't had to make any hard decisions because of that. No. No, and right, and it's really been hugely um, helpful to us to have the Because you have to have the equipment, fund. so. You do, and to have the money in the bank when you yeah. need it is, has been really, really helpful. No, nope, that was good. All right, so that was very good, and thank you for taking the time to work that up, and thank you to Tom, too, because I think that this, that's good. I mean, it lays it out there, and it says how much we're going to have to contribute to get there, and mm -hmm. there we go. Yeah. And so then if you come back over to line items, I adjusted the numbers there to add in this capital fire fund and reduce the equipment fund by the $35,000 bond amount and shifts down into the capital fire here. Yeah. 
Um, so, um, so those basically are the changes since the last meeting. And so this is what the summary looks like right now. Um, oops, I don't know that right there. So total budget 2.54%. Um, and that was with the increase that of Hardwick Rescue last meeting when they came, that amount went up. Um, it's also with the economic development position and the um, reserving <coughs> for fire capital. And this is what it looks and like. And the reason that changed to like 28 was because of taxes or something, right? Did no, the, the rescue? No, no. no the, Economic development. I just right. I put right. some in social security, social security so right. it's, it was still thirty, but I just right. shifted it so down to right. social security. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we probably would structure that position as and like maybe forty five, forty six hours every two weeks. Um, we wouldn't. So be it would be limited benefits basically. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah, because you know, probably do retirement like that, right? Yes. Yeah, so. Well, you get limited. Yeah. You probably get a little. We don't get any you, benefits. Well, <laughs> we do. We, did well, you not yeah. see your cushion? <laughs> yes, Come my on. cushion. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, questions, concerns. So, I just want to um, say that basically where we're at, just to summarize is we've actually had some decreases in insurance this year that's been super helpful. Yes, over two years, $75,000 in decrease. premium decrease over two years. So it's finally so catching up with us and yes. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and the things, so we also have regular um, increases to people's um, pay, so our payroll inches up sort of, but then we have turnover, so it doesn't always inch up right. on the whole, but there is an increase for people who stay. Um, and so there are three things that are adding to this. One in, that are semi-new. So one is the, the fire department equipment budget that we just went over, which is gonna add a net additional 30,000 to, um, to fund, get us out of bonding and into saving for, for fire trucks. There's an almost 30, 25 or $30,000 increase for rescue funding. About 22,000. 22, that's um, because rescue is at a point where they need to hire another person and that's, mm -hmm. they prorated it across towns and that's kind of hard to share. And to that, I, I would say personally, I feel like both with fire and rescue, we still get a phenomenal deal mm -hmm. for what we pay because they're still primarily volunteer organizations. And if we had to field a fully professional fire or rescue, that would be way more expensive for what we get. See where St. John's right in Lindenville? Yeah, Zander I wondered if that, because they region. talked about Caledonia County in that. I wonder if... Uh, <coughs> well, that would be too big for us, but I mean, basically, the Lindenville, St. John's very Ones, but they're talking about it because yeah. St. Jay still has full time they can't afford mm -hmm. uh, just for the city of St. Jay. It's city basically, you know. Yeah. And then uh, Lindenville is struggling with volunteers and everyone around it, all the small towns. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're looking at some sort of regional program. Huh. But then your response time gets. Well, I'm sure they're still going to have... For fire. More for fire than for rescue. Yeah, no? more for fire. Oh, I mean, there are already regionalized for ambulance. So already Calix, where everybody over there is. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Calix is like all of Caledonia Essex. Oh. <laughs> ah. I believe what it stands for. Okay. But it's... So they've already done that. The Danville doesn't have a rescue anymore, do they? Maybe they do. Danville still have a rescue? Yes. Yeah. So Danville, but Cabot, I don't know if they do anymore. I think they they're struggling though. Yeah, I think yeah. they were pretty close. I think yeah. they're still going. I right. think last yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's but true. they were close. skin their teeth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's becoming a real issue. Mm -hmm. People. I mean, Hydrick's an issue. If it wasn't for our road crew, being the five firefighters that are around there today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When, yeah, yeah. When the fire goes off, the road crew comes to, I'll go to Bluff Street. <laughs> 
and, and fortunately that works. Fortunately, well, it doesn't work very well, and that's but it, part of, but you know, it's getting they make it work. Worse. So anyway, yeah. So then the third, so then the third thing that adds to this budget really is the um, additional economic development coordinator position, um, which adds another thirty thousand. So those are three fairly big things. Um, that we've added here, so otherwise it's kind of just paying the bills. Paying the bills, yeah. Right. Um, the only other thing, it's it's not it's fairly nominal, but the assessor position is not in our current budget. It's like lister salary, so we just kind of did a wash, but the assessor is a little bit more than what we budgeted for lister salary in our current. The budget year we're in. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's, so that's adjusted here right. to yeah. actuals, right? But we yeah. knew that was going to be a... Right. But it's not a huge change, really. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably, actually, the net yeah. effect probably is only three or 4000 Right. Yeah. It's pretty small. So... Because we'd adjusted right. it up knowing that that was going to happen. I yeah. Know. I, I know. know. We were just guessing. That. We were guessing about it. That's right, because the list or right. salary went way down, and then that, yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So... So what do we do now? No need to argue if there ain't an argument. No. So I think we talked about whether we probably weren't going to approve it tonight. Is that what we were thinking? I can. We can, we can say that we're. Because I, what I can do is um, at this point, I'll probably have Amanda and Tanya and Alberta and Sean like give it a good comb through a second set of eyes just to and I'll do it myself as well just to make sure. We haven't missed anything. All the formulas are correct, and I've been doing that right along. But we'll do kind of that final look through to just to make sure. Well, ultimately, everything. what's important is that when we do the um, the, 16th, the warning, that it's right. Correct. Yeah. So the sixteenth, we meet, and we meet the warning on the twenty. Oh yeah. So I mean, the so, the 16th, so we actually the other thing that's important is we just outlined the three in places we increased. Yeah. And that will give everyone final notice. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if anybody's right. interested so in commenting. Interested if they could try to get this approved at the 16th meeting, that would be great. Just yeah, we should, okay. but that would give people the opportunity to voice their concerns with the budget. If you're concerned with the budget, be here the 16th. Yeah, and if I, um, if we come or send an email, email call. I'll you let can you know. send an email. But yeah. don't show up at town meeting. Saying that <coughs> nobody warned Saying you. Nobody told me. <laughs> I didn't know. Any? Oh, the only other thing was I just wanted to mention under buildings, I kept Yellow Barn on there and put two hundred dollars for their insurance because okay. we do need to carry insurance. Yeah. Once the construction starts, that project pays the construction yeah. premium. But right now we had to pay like one hundred and forty dollars or something like that. It, it would yeah. be very fiscally irresponsible for us not to carry some type of insurance on it. Yeah. yeah. There's no electricity, but we we need to have something. Know. So I put two hundred dollars in there That's probably just for smart. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, you can have that like that. That probably doesn't break the budget. But that's it. That's all right. Good deal. Any uh thank you. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah, good job. Definitely. Any select board reports? Um, I, yeah, I want to talk about the select uh, the um, compost committee a little bit. Is this the right thing? Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it just 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 wanted to round it up because oh. there's no energy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you got us all excited. Yeah, uh, no, like I thought you were gonna. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so, um, so basically, unless more energy happens, which I'm happy to still work on it, but I don't want to work on it by myself. So if other people want to mm -hmm. join me, I'm happy to work on it some more. Um, but the way I'm looking at it now, basically, basically as far as we got, was, was figuring out kind of what the, what was going on with, with composting and as far as um, sort of the, the, the permitting and the, the, what the, the um, solid waste management district is doing and what the state sort of laws are. And um, it looks like as of 2020, sometime in 2020, and they keep pushing it off, so things might have been changing. But basically, the um, 
the, the people who do um, like transfer stations are mandated to have compost, mm -hmm. um, take compost there, and All Metals is doing that. Yeah, they've been doing it for a while. Yeah. 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 And um, if people um, are tenants and their landlords take their garbage, then the landlords are supposed to also take their compost. So those people will be covered. Um, so that means the people that bring their own garbage are covered. The people who are tenants, for the most part, are covered. Um, and so the curbside pickup people at some point are supposed to be also picking up um, Yeah, that one's stuff. not totally clear, yeah. Right, but that one I think is the one that's getting pushed off. <coughs> yeah, yeah, they don't want to. The haulers don't want to deal with it. Yeah, because for my... It's, it's a cash drain on it. Yeah. He's not, you know, that's just money, money, money. You gotta have a separate truck, you gotta separate, you know what I mean? It's, oh my God. Yeah, that was my understanding that when they had to do the recycling, <coughs> they had to do a separate truck for that. Yeah, and then get this third truck for the, the compost yeah. is, is pretty hard for them to do. So, um, Especially when two of those things you don't <laughs> get paid to do. Yeah, Basically, right, right. Basically, you know, not not. Right, right. So, um, and then the people who are out, who live out outside of town can do something in the backyard. So, so, the, so basically what, what I'm sort of getting to is that most people have something already in place for composting, and, but there's a small group of people that might not. Um, and it might be a or that, uh, well, some right. of it was that apparently a few people in the end missed having that compost that was there that the solid waste district did for a while as a pilot project mm -hmm. because it was a way to do meat. Because um, mm -hmm. not everybody wants to do meat in their yard because uh, yeah, it attracts more supposedly, but I don't, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you talk to people who do the composting thing, they say that there are many ways to avoid having rodent problems and blah, blah, blah. I don't compost meat. Yeah. So, I don't and know. then the other thing I just want to throw in the mix is that the, you do, if you do anything like that, you need to get a permit. And the place down here that was that they were doing was I don't know quite what was happening, but they didn't have the proper permit, and so we couldn't have continued that really. Anyway, no, it was just a pilot. Because, yeah, yeah, it was it a was, pilot, and, and it was going to have to change no matter what. And then we just right. didn't have enough of a response from anybody who was supposedly using it right. until after the and fact. I mean, the fact that they were, like there was getting paid is the main reason. It stayed in the condition of state. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a real big problem because they were paid. They were they maintaining were paid, it. It was very well maintained. Was. And I, I could see where, especially in a little village like that, where it could go bad really quickly. Mm -hmm. We were relying on yeah. someone not quite Like sure. some volunteer group. Or yeah, volunteer or corporate America. You know, you yeah, know what I mean? Right. Yeah, not just, yeah. but I, I'd worry less about the volunteers than I would be yeah, somebody who's absentee. Yeah, yeah. The, oops, I guess we could do that today. A week ago. <laughs> you know. So, yeah. So basically, if if there's a groundswell, you're willing to join back in, but absent yeah. that, where it's going on the table. Yeah, and it's still, the Solid Waste District still has those um, municipal uh, grants for $5,000 for, you know, matching for towns to do something around composting, around dealing with tires, around all the things that the Solid Waste District tries to help with. But we haven't had any groundswell of people who want to fill out the grant no. application and either. One of the big things they wanted is they were more upset with the location being changed. They really wanted for to make the downtown for the compost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and that's not likely to ever happen again. So no, because- It would have to be up over here someplace, right? Well, that was one of the permitting things when I looked at, at when you fill out the permit. It was that, I can't remember what the distance was. <coughs> it had to be, um, I think it was like 500 feet or something from the property line. So, I don't know if it was 500. It was some amount that was not yeah. really feasible in the downtown. Yeah. Went downtown. And maybe that could be well, well, it's, sad, it's yeah. kind of sad. And that I'll, building is sold now, so. so. It's kind of disappointing yeah. to me yeah. to have people whine about it a lot and not be willing to put some effort into trying to, like Sherry said, there, there's opportunities out there for volunteer, for an old volunteer, civic volunteer duty here. Work to on take it. Take care, work yeah. on it. And, you know, Lucian did a great job of, I know how Lucian works, so now, I know he researched it, I know he's accurate. Mm -hmm. and if he's saying, pretty much everybody's got a way of doing it, they just, it's not their the most easy or most comfortable way of doing it, but it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's it's not like the the, the issue isn't being addressed. It's being addressed in a bunch of places, 
in a bunch of ways already. So. I mean, I think there's, I mean, having said that, I think there's, um, I mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that's not getting, that is just getting thrown away. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think it's a lot of it just has to do with people changing their habits and right. realizing it's there and stuff like that. So um, I think there's a lot of room for improvement that we could do. And I'm sure we could, as a town, help that out. Um, so and if people do want to put some effort in, we can pick it back up. All right. Well, well, thank you for your efforts. OK. <laughs> so, uh, any other select board reports? I have a question. What about the cut? Where did we leave that? We said we would we would put yeah. it on the um, we put decided it on the we would right yeah all right couldn't remember if we decided that or not we let the townspeople the chew town it people over chew it. at, yeah, at right. a town meeting that's what I thought I I thought yep. I was just having a dream and it was funny no I think we said we said yep but I can go on the warning so when we approve the warning we'll yeah. and and she rep um, she replied with more. Like the exact language again that they want on the warning, a blurb to go in the town report, the whole thing. So, okay. let the people's voice be heard. Send that too. Oh, did you not get it? Mm -hmm. I'll send it to you guys. Okay. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> great um, when I'm assembling the town report. Should we review deadlines for um, petitions for select board and that stuff? Is it? I don't remember when it is. Do you remember? Should the minutes, remember? right? Did you say? Uh, oh, was that that's last right, yeah. it's in the minutes. That's, that's a that's great right. idea. Look at you go. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, petitions uh, no, for an appropriation PM. is uh, four o'clock on January 16th, with at least 116 signatures right. suggesting. And the um, petition for office are uh, January 27th at five. Yeah. Five p.m. With and at least, with at least 23 signatures. And uh, for the Orleans Southwest Supervisory Union. No. Is it a different date or is it the same? No, petitions are required. Right. For harder select board, three goes. year seats, two one year seats, Hazen Union District Board three one three year and Hazen Union District Board one one year of a remaining three. But yeah. It's not the OS issue. Oh, that's different. Okay. All right. Anyway, we're that's on That's good. Any other select board reports? Um, if Alberta is getting the signatures for the, the um, select board positions mm -hmm. on the 27th, mm -hmm. and we're going to meet in the morning of the 27th? It's mm -hmm. the 21st. Oh. No. no. No, but they don't go on. They don't go in the morning. morning. There's a paper ballot that oh, she okay. does. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, sure it's that. not on the morning. So. No. It's independent. It doesn't affect us. Oh, well, it does. But. <clears throat> Doesn't affect our warning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Any other? How about any select board reports, new business or old business? No. No. Hearing none. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone.